absinthe. The drink du jour of 19th century French artistes. Its debauched reputation even led to a 70-year ban. But is there any truth in the notion it can make you loopy? I was talking to my friend Matt. He reckons if you drink it, it's going to make you go mad. One of the herbs that goes into it, it can cause hallucinations, but in the UK, they don't allow for that part of the absinthe to be included. Right. Can it send you mad? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. It used to be like it would make you see, you know, fish in a swimming pool or, you know, fairies flying around you, whereas now it doesn't. It has been known to cause hallucinations. No way. To see if those guys were right, I'm heading to London to scope out a bar. So no change there, then. I oh, know Absinthe has got a bit of a shady reputation, but check this out. But in the mystical world of Absinthe, things are never quite as they seem. Alan, Matt. Matt, morning, how are you? Nice to meet you. It is the morning, it's 11.30, and we're going to be drinking Absinthe. Alan Moss is an expert in this devilish drink. So how are we drinking it? Are we setting fire to it? Oh, no. Absolutely no? not. According to Alan, there's only one way to devour this drink. What is this funny contraption, then? What is Good question. Called? So this is so-called absinthe fountain. During the 19th century, this was a classic way of people really getting together socially in a cafe in Paris, which is serving with chilled water. So is, is that what you want, a very slow drip of water? Yes, you do, and that's really because it allows the aromas uh, to disperse. It, it? Absolutely. That's really good. So if the madness isn't in the way it's drunk, what about the ingredients? So here's Absinthe Encyclopedia. Yes, Alan's actually got an encyclopedia dedicated to this stuff. Here's some recipes from the 19th century. They all have wormwood. If you consume enough wormwood quickly enough, it's going to have effects. So what is this wacky wormwood? To find out, I've come to the Sussex Downs. Julius, Matt. Hi. Nice to meet you. Herbalist Julia Behrens is a regular visitor to these here woods. I just never feel alone because the plants are always there. I always get excited when I walk past a dandelion and nettle. Oh, that's mad. <laughs> 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 I was going to be grown up about that, but that just sounds mad. So she obviously loves her plants, but how clued up is she about wormwood? What is wormwood? It's a beautiful aromatic plant that's used medicinally as an antiparasitic, so it's used traditionally to eliminate worms. But what is it that, that makes you mad? Is it the wormwood? It's the essential oils within the plant that contain thujone. OK. And thujone is a neurotoxin, so it can cause convulsions, fear, anxiety, tremors. And who'd want that? But where's Julia hiding the wormwood? Try and find it. Very unusual. Well, I know what I'm looking for, yeah? Like a... Like a homing pigeon. Massive badger holes. Right, I've looked everywhere. Not having much luck, to be honest. Enough of this foraging luck. Thank goodness Julia had an alternative up her sleeve all along, in a nearby garden. So this is it, this is wormwood. Feels nice. It's very soft, isn't it? Can I try it? Y yeah. It's kind of lingering now. D do you feel like you're producing more saliva? Yeah. yeah. Perhaps I am starting to feel something off that wormwood. Thujone is a neurotoxin that is highly dangerous if consumed in its pure form. But is the tiny amount of thujone in the wormwood used in absinthe going to make me loopy? John McCarthy has been distilling the spirit here for the past six years. This is where you, you make your absinthe. Yeah, so last night, we put in a large quantity of very strong vodka, 90% alcohol, and then added a big weight of botanicals. The strong vodka initially is just to draw out as a solvent, to draw out the oils. If you don't do that stage, then it won't be very absinthe -y. These are the botanicals that go into here. it. Every absinthe will have those in them. Green anise is the biggest ingredient. Fennel seed? Yeah. And what's this? That's this wormwood. Like... This is what makes you mad? Is allegedly. And it is allegedly. Oh, yeah. You'd have to drink so much of it right. to actually consume enough thujone for it to have any effect at all. The alcohol will, will get you a long, long time before the thujone will. Thujone also yeah. exists in other herbs like sage right. in much higher quantities. Okay. So you're more likely to um, have a hallucinogenic trip after your Christmas dinner. <laughs>